Okay, users keep asking me same questions about this add-in, which are already written down at Documents Common Issues section. So, I feel like I need to make a video about these common issues. First of all, with add-in's latest version, there is a document button on it. It will lead you to add-in's product page. You'll find almost every issue's solution there. If not, you are welcome to report one. The first issue is. There are two common ways to import a DAS model into Blender. Diffeomorphics DAS Importer and DAS's official Blender Bridge 2022. Which one to use? The answer is simple. Diffeomorphics DAS Importer is way much better. One problem with DAS's official Blender Bridge 2022 is there are a lot of problems hiding in this add-in and never be fixed. Why? Because the DAS employee who wrote this add-in left DAS and went to EA. The guy who takes over is not a DAS's employee, he is a part-time volunteer. And this guy is focusing on C++ and not very familiar with Blender add-ins development. So, with DAS's official Blender Bridge 2022, you're gonna have a lot of issues. And you must be very familiar with Blender to handle them by yourself. So, Diffeomorphics DAS Impoter is always a better choice. On DAS Importer's panel, click Global Setting. There is a section called Rigging. Uncheck every option on this section. Otherwise, they're gonna limit your character's rotation. You need to re import your character after changing global setting. In DAS, when you export a character to Blender, there are two options on the menu. Never ever use the HD one, always use the one without HD in it. With this add-in's latest version, you can add a degree to forearm's rotation. Use it with the arm rotation rate together, you can fix most forearm's poking issues. The default setting is good for most poses. If it is not for your motion, try change for arm rotation rate to 0.8 and double the default rotation degrees here. Then your poking issue should be fixed in most cases. When importing a model with DAS Importer, always use the Easy Import DAS button and check the Merge Rigs option on it. When importing a VMD motion, this add-in creates IK for your model's legs. In Blender, IK need an IK pole bone to tell it which way character's knees should bend. Otherwise, its knees can bend to any direction. So, there an IK pole bone in front of your model. And its knee is always pointing to it. An IK pole bone will rotate with character's body. This works fine in most cases. But, if you rise the leg too high and body is not rotated, then, you leg will go over IK pole bone and the knee gonna point to the ground. So, how to solve this? Well, click Add-ins Document button. On the Document page, search IK pole bone. You will find the section talk about this. And there is a solution for you. It is a little long so I won't talk about it here. You just need to know, when you need it, your solution is there. If a VMD motion does not use IK, 
After importing, you may see some slipping on feet. That's because DAS and MMD character have different bone position and bone length. So, even with the same rotation, DAS character's legs will reach to a different position. There are two ways to handle this. The simple way is, before importing your motion, just set position rate to 0.5 on this add-ins panel. The second way is, convert this VMD motion from FK to IK. You can check document for this. This add-in only support a CC model, exported from Character Creator. If you export it from iClone, this add-in won't work. Okay, that's it. With this add-in's latest version. Now most VMD motions work pretty well. And you can find all answers just by clicking document button. Thanks for your support.